You and I have so much to talk about. Always. Yes, Always. thank you so much for being here. You know, I, uh, we we're just talking to CeeLo. I was listening. Yes, thank you. <laughs> you creep, you sound like a perv. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was listening. Um, Someone was paying attention. Yes, then. thank you, yeah. And, uh, I, you know, I'm just curious because your new show, Hello Ladies, is sort of inspired by your single life in right. Los Angeles. Yeah. And uh, I'm just, I was talking to CeeLo about going out, he's obviously. He's a player. He's a player. What's it like for you? What's it like for you when you go out in LA? Well, I thought, you know, sort of getting on TV and doing your talk shows and stuff, like that would make a difference. It doesn't seem to be making a difference. I'm <laughs> constantly surprised that I can't get it, just breeze into nightclubs. You know, because, I mean, I'm a great dresser like CeeLo. I know what's going on. <laughs> um, oh, you know what time I tried it is. To get yeah. in, I tried to get into a club not long ago here in L.A., and, uh, and I walked up to the, to, the, to the doorman, and he stood there, and as I was approaching, he literally started laughing. He literally, he saw me and he just went, ha, no, you're not, no. He <laughs> didn't know, I could have just been walking by. He just assumed I was trying to get in. He said, uh, he said, you try, I said, can I come in? He went, no. No, no. I said, what are you talking about? He went, honestly, and I don't know if this was a line that he'd prepared or whether he just came out with it, but he said, sorry, dude, but we want people in here who look like they're going to provide glamour, not tech support. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. From a doorman. You know, like, wow. He's good. Yeah. All right, so what about, have you tried, because L.A. can be difficult. It's, yeah. uh, you know, it's uh, back in the day when I was dating here. It was tough. It's tough it's to tough. meet people. It's tough, I feel like, because there's so much choice. You know, yeah. there's so many beautiful people, and there's, and I feel like, I feel like my experience of dating here is like you're on a date with a woman and she could, and she could basically say, I love you, and then just look behind you for someone better and more attractive. Like, that's yes. my general experience. Yes. And I'm six foot seven. It's impressive if she can look over my shoulder. <laughs> do, you, do you try to meet people online? Have you tried I that? I never do the online thing. I, to me, it's, it's too much. There's too much now. It's like, it's like you can go online. You can, you can meet people here. I'm from England. I try to meet people there. And then even if you get on a date, there's so much you've got to do. You've got to do the dates and you go to the theater and there's all this machinery and it takes months. And there's, I, would, I would have been happier in, in, in just in medieval times. You know what I mean? Where it just it medieval made, times, in like the Middle Ages, it was just easier because, like, you know, you never, you just lived in a small village. You didn't know there was another village. You know what I mean? Like just you never left. Yeah. You just, you just like married whoever was in your village of a similar age that wasn't dead yet. You know what I mean? Like, you just, they were simpler times. Were, yes. And you didn't worry about what you were wearing or your, like, your, you didn't, you know, you weren't going, hey, Andy, is there any, you know, is there, how's my breath? You, just, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Everyone's breath was terrible because yeah. the harvest right. failed and they had to eat their dogs. It's like, that was just taking, <laughs> there was no gum. There was no, you didn't go to restaurants, like yes. maybe, you just, you just married a woman and then like, you, married, you met a woman on a Wednesday, you were married on a Friday and she was having kids by the following Tuesday. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Because exactly. you, you had to get the kids out before winter came and they, because they were all gone. By then. You, you were losing. <laughs> God, or, this is terribly dark. Whatever, but it was happier times. It was simpler times. You're right. Them. Happier, much happier times. And you times. just lived happily ever after until, in a dream world, both of you got plague and died. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was the best you could hope for. <laughs> <laughs> that was a beautiful marriage. Uh, Those were good yeah. times. Yeah.